What's going on spectators and creators? Today I am super, super excited to show you this new tutorial on a photo shoot that I did for a client at the local gym. Hey everybody, my name is David from Indaba Photography and today I'm at Vi Fitness at their Truscott location. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be doing an athletic photo shoot, which I haven't done for a long time, uh, specifically more of a fitness photo shoot. I've luckily been given access to the whole facility, so that'll be fun and it's pretty empty right now. Uh, all I'm waiting for is one of the head trainers, Miles, who I'll be shooting today. Uh, it's gonna be his first time doing an actual professional photo shoot. It'll be very interesting to see and coach him how to model, how to pose, and how to give me the energy I'm looking for. All right, everybody, let me introduce you, Miles. Miles is one of the trainers here, actually probably the head trainer at Vi Fitness. You've been here for how long? Two years. For two years, and he's excellent at his job. So you'll probably see him coaching stars and stuff in the future. If not, he's gonna be a world famous soccer player or something like that, right? That's awesome. <laughs> for the first shoot we're gonna be doing, uh, Miles is gonna be here with the cables. Um, what I've done is basically backlit him over here uh, with a bare bulb, and then over here, just basically dead in front of him, we have a soft box, which is about three, three foot octagon soft box. And that's gonna be on a basically like half power, or if not a quarter power. And we're gonna have them lit like on the front and then have an edge light here. And I'm gonna be shooting from downwards up. Okay, so let's break this down. I got two lights, one camera, obviously. The first light is his main light, which is gonna be in front of him. It's gonna be a little bit higher, angled downwards at 45 degrees. The reason I do this is because it's going to give him shadows underneath his chin, underneath his muscles, you know, give him some definition. And that's what we want. And it's gonna be a little bit more dramatic. The light behind him is gonna be bare bulb, just so that it's a little bit more harsh, but it's also gonna rim light him a little bit from like under his arms, maybe under his legs, depending where I'm shooting from. And this will distinguish him from the background. Another tip is that when you're working with models, especially for athletic shots, do not have them use the full energy right away. So for example, I'm not gonna have Miles just pack on all the weights and just start going, especially if I'm still tweaking my settings with my lights for my camera. Because if I do that over and over again, let's say we did that five times, we did that like 20 times, depending on how much of a perfectionist you wanna be, by the end of that, he would be gassed out, meaning he'd be so tired and would show in the shots. So just have him do it light or mime it, and then have him pack on the weights so you can get that full expression and get that full energy. Now the reason I'm not shooting at eye level is because I want this to be dramatic. If I shot at eye level, then it would look something like this. Now this is actually a really cool shot. Um, if it's kind of like between reps or between sets and he's just kind of posing and chilling, showing off his muscles, that's still a good shot. But I wanted something more dynamic. I wanted something more um, action-y, you know what I mean? So I pulled from something like comic book covers of like superheroes or like even like posters of like action movies. You always notice that the, the hero or the, the vigilante or whoever that character is, has always been shot from a low angle upwards because it gives them more presence, it gives them more power, and it's a lot more dramatic. So now that I have all my settings locked down for my camera, for my lights, Miles knows where to go. He knows how to actually posture himself, where he's looking. You take the shot. And when you take the shot, it looks something like this. Okay, spectators and creators, I hope you had fun watching part one of that photography tutorial. I'd like to thank Miles for being such an amazing model, especially when it's his first time. And you can follow him on Instagram over here and see what he's up to. And please stay tuned for part two, which will be coming soon, next Thursday, uh, where we'll dive more into different poses and different lighting techniques. Please follow me on Instagram at Endaba Photography as well as you can check out my website at ndaba.ca. That's N-D-A-B-A dot C-A. And remember, doesn't matter how many tools you have, doesn't matter how big or small the space you're in, the most important tool that you have is right here because you're only limited by your creativity. So until next time, cheers. <laughs>